I was told lots of bad comments have been written to Vincenzo's plate on Reddit. So I want to read them with you for the first time and react to what they write. Why are people so mean? Let's see. I use Reddit and I like to post on Reddit uh, and some people like it too. So this is a thread that someone started. Hi all, I just wanted to know what you think about Vincenzo's play on YouTube. I personally think the guy is terrific, but I would like to know from you guys too. Interesting, okay? So let's see what people say. You think, you know, it's just a normal question. So this person is saying uh, for English language Italian food videos, he or she prefers to watch Pasta Grandma. And I love them. I love Eva. I love Harper. They're great. So yeah, please, follow them. But now this is gonna say, my personal opinion is Vincenzo's recipes are fine. Oh, thank you. They present traditional Italian cooking. There is no denying that. It's just an ass. Thank you. Well, do you know me? Do we know each other? No? Okay. Half of his videos are now reaction videos. Yes. Reaction videos, yeah, what's wrong with that? Which he started doing because the first one did went viral, so he completely changed his format and personality to what would get more clicks and frankly, doesn't act his age. I guess you've been following me for a long time, you know a lot about me. Well, yeah, I did the first reaction video and went viral, so I said, why not? I do more. Chicken stock. And you know what? Helped lots of people. He helped lots of people to learn more about Italian food. He helped a lot of people to learn how to cook Italian food. So for me, yes, it was a form type of video to grow. It was a type of video to get into your mind, into your brain, and get you to write a comment like this. Because thanks to the reaction videos, you're interested in me. So thank you for being interested. He only likes or responds to comments validating him and he ignores constructive criticism. I've always taken constructive criticism. I don't reply to rude comments, but if it's constructive, I take it. I found him back in around 2015-2016, great, and he had a completely different demeanor and didn't solely focus on making Italian dishes that people outside of Italy have heard of. So you know about me, thank you. Despite the video titles of your reaction videos, he isn't a chef. He has no professional culinary background and he has admitted it. Okay, you watch my old videos. When I started my YouTube channel, my point was you don't have to be a chef to cook Italian recipes. You don't have to be a chef to cook at all, okay? Now, you don't really know about background, so I'll tell you my background now, okay? My background is I grew up in a family where everyone cooks. My grandmother cooks, my great-grandmother cooked, my parents, so I was always surrounded by amazing cooks. When I was 14, I got my first job in hospitality as a barista, okay? I didn't do it for long, it wasn't for me. Then I went to work for a wedding venue where I started from the bottom, okay? This was back in Italy when I was very young. Started from the bottom, helping. So I was peeling garlic, peeling and chopping onions. I cleaned the dishes. I did all of that. And I watched people doing the job. And I was in the kitchen watching and chopping the onions and, and cleaning the garlic. And it's not pleasant, let me tell you. Then I worked for Five Star Resorts. And again, I started from the bottom, okay? I've started from the bottom, in the kitchen, outside the kitchen, in the restaurants. I did lots of different things until I became a resort manager, which I was in charge of the entertainment, I was in charge of the resort, and I was overlooking the kitchen. I was actually having a say in the menu as well, okay? So I did play an important role when I was a resort manager, okay? I moved to London when I was 20, and I actually worked for very, very good Italian restaurants. Again. Moved from the, from the bottom. I didn't speak English, so dishwasher. I cleaned the dishes. I chopped the onion. I peeled the garlic. I did all of that. At the same time, I helped the kitchen. After about two weeks, I moved into uh, making starters, and making pizza, and making pasta, and helped the chef cook in the meat and the seafood. So very quickly, I moved up, okay? Even though I didn't go to school, I did work in restaurants in London for over two years. Okay? I even made ice cream when I was in London. Okay? I even tried to find the jobs for restaurants in London where I went there and brought my Amatriciana recipe and they said to me, no, we don't want this. We want the Amatriciana recipe done this way. We watch ourselves. So I didn't like that. I got bored of that job being a chef. 
even though I didn't have a qualification, I was a chef in restaurants in London, and I didn't like that because I wanted to be able to do what I wanted to do. So they didn't let me cook what I wanted, so I said, yeah, this is not for me. When I moved to Australia, I completely changed, and I worked for retail, but I, I missed the cooking. I started my YouTube channel, and I said, I love cooking, I'm gonna teach people how to cook. I will share my cooking skills with you. At the same time, while I was teaching you how to cook on YouTube, I had cooking school, when I used to go to people homes or I'll go to businesses, corporate businesses and teach them, or even online. I had food market stalls. I had stalls you know, at the best markets in Sydney. Chef, I was doing private dinner parties for people. Private dinner parties for people. I host tours in Italy. I used to do catering, okay? Catering for events, catering for weddings, catering for, for small parties, okay? So I had a license to be able to cook for people, okay? I've been in kitchens since I was 40, at the wedding venue, where I worked very hard and watched amazing chefs in Italy cook, okay? Now I'm 40 today, and I have lots of experience in the kitchen. So you tell me that I'm not a chef? It's a bit sad. Okay, don't call me chef, but I have worked in the kitchen a long time, and I had my own business cooking for people. Now he goes, look at that. For example, the macaroni and cheese video has just posted his fake Italian food series. He watches video on the history of mac and cheese and fails to understand that Kraft mac and cheese was invented during the Great Depression. People were poor during the Great Depression. I, I noticed that and I knew that. And I, in the video I did say, I understand, people were poor. His recipe with four high quality cheese will cost $30 to make. A box of Kraft, $2.99. Why would a single parent work in two jobs for... Okay, he's just ignorant and lacks critical thinking skills. Okay, thank you for calling me ignorant, but I'm trying to educate you. So, I could be the ignorant, you could be the ignorant. I don't know, I'll let you guys judge it. I'm trying to educate you. Don't tell me if the craft is good. Because if you tell me that... This guy is going, yeah, he's a bit too arrogant for sure. I'll make sure to check out Pasta Grama, thank you. Yeah, please do, Pasta Grama is great. I have not seen the mac and cheese video, but he shouldn't really get an opinion based on the fact he's an Italian anyway. Given the shape and dish was invented by Scottish merchant to the better Scottish pilot, no, this was never invented by Scottish. Go and read the history of mac and cheese. It was invented in Italy, and when he went to America, it completely changed. He seems okay to me. He's very much a YouTuber though. Guys, read this comment. He seems okay to me. He's very much a YouTuber though. More like a gateway drug. Go through his recipes if you enjoy them. They're good for the fundamentals. And then move on to the Italian language stuff, I'd say. Personally, I just search for the reset I'm after on Google in Italian. Combine the first few hits. One of them is always Giallo Zaffarano, LOL. And leave in the bits you like best or can get a hold of. Okay, so you recommend Giallo Zafferano. Giallo Zafferano for me is a money-making company. Good, they've been around for a long time. When Sonia Pecoraci was there, I loved it. Now it's still good, it gives you the information, but thank you for this um, friend. He says, he taught me how to cook. Him and Pasta Grandma, thank you. Most of the recipes are excellent, simple and authentic. However, I once commented that there is room for both non-authentic and authentic Italian meals, as in my opinion, a New York pizza slice is pretty good on its own and doesn't need to be compared to an authentic Italian pizza, to which he blocked me from commenting on his channel forever. All my other comments were of me, of saying how good his recipes are, but didn't realize they weren't being posted until one day I wasn't logged in on YouTube and saw my comments weren't there. Okay, so you saying to me that I blocked you, okay. I normally don't block people. I have blocked people in the past. If they're rude, go personal, or they say very bad words, I don't want you in my network, okay? I don't want you in my life. So you're saying that I blocked you because you said the New York pizza is better? I don't believe so, because I will never do that. I love confrontation, I love to talk about it. New York pizza slice is great, and I will never say, uh, I never block you because you said that. So you must have been rude, or maybe I never blocked you, but you think I did. So try to write another comment. But I never blocked anyone who shared the opinion. If you share your opinion with me, I'll reply with my opinion, or we try and have a, a conversation. I love it. 
The guy is a moron. I've seen countless videos where people comments get removed for calling him out things. His reaction videos with these days are basically just bullying at this point. First, I never bullied anyone because I was bullied when I was a kid and I never go personal. I talk about the dish. I never attacked Gordon Ramsay for who he is. I never attacked anyone for who he is or what they do. Never bullied. I always spoke about the recipe. This has to be clear. Never bullied anyone. I always talk about the dish and the way it was made. It's always about the dish, never the person. I do not know the person. You don't know me. I don't know them. The person that cooks, I don't know who they are. The food they make can talk to me. I can judge that. But never the person. I've never done that. The fact that you say that you've seen countless videos where people comments get removed, how do you see that? How do you see me deleting comments? <laughs> I don't believe you can, okay? You can delete a comment if it's rude, and I do that. If it's rude and very aggressive, I do that. I don't want to see these comments because nobody should be coming to my channel and read bad words. It's a family-friendly channel, okay? But apart from that, I don't know what you're talking about. He's a comedian actor he used to be in live sketch shows. Yeah, I used to. Thank you, Andy. You know me. He's done some acting too. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I've done. I've done enough acting, yeah. I think it's good if you come from somewhere that maybe uses a lot of creams and what have you to fake certain dishes, but I wouldn't watch his recipes and think they're as good as it gets. Okay, so Hindi, you don't like my recipes, okay. I've helped lots of people with my recipes, but reading the, um, you don't like my recipes and um, the very basic, I guess uh, you're opening my, my eyes. You make me understand that maybe I'm not good enough. But I help a lot of people and I get comments and emails every day from people saying thank you so much for what you do. But I don't please everyone, so maybe I need to work harder. I will question anything that views Alfredo as an actual Italian food. Well, Alfredo is Italian food. It's actually, it was invented in Rome. Um, it's not common in Italy as Alfredo. Um, it's not common in Italy as a pasta. Um, because pasta with burro not common anymore, it was never really a, a very famous dish, uh, but it is Italian. It's part of his new series, he take on a non-Italian food that is viewed as an Italian from the rest of the world and try to make it the Italian way. It's very much a way it's not really Italian food. Thank you, Chef Dalton. Chef Dalton is smart, he understood, and he's uh, telling everyone what, it's, what my series called Fake Italian Recipes Made Italian Way is all about. Oh, this is nice. Find this. The guy is an absolute moron. <laughs> really, there is no one I hate more than that guy. Me. That's nice. He's on very high horse, but couldn't make a decent carbonara in 1920. Totally butchered it. Heat is way too high, no emulsion. This is just scrambled egg pasta. Okay, he's referring to an old carbonara recipe I shared where I used an old carbonara technique. The carbonara grew up eating, where you do get a little bit of scrambled eggs, okay? In many videos I explain this, if you watch me, if you know me. The old carbonara we grew up in the 90s, the carbonara we grew up in Italy, even in Rome. The carbonara, homemade carbonara, okay, before the carbonara became super popular, the carbonara we ate was a little bit scrambled. It had scrambled eggs in there, okay? And that's how we liked it. It had not scrambled eggs, but a scramble. It was a little bit of scrambles. It was creamy, but scrambles, okay? And that's the video he's referring to, back in 2019. After that, the, the carbonara took over, like it really changed. It changed in the last, probably 10 years, but really, really changed in the last five, six years, but everyone is making it creamier. And it's getting creamier and creamier and creamier. But if you ask any Roman how the carbonara was growing up, it had the scrambled eggs in there. It did have a little bit of scrambles in there. So that recipe this guy is referring to is the carbonara uh, old school carbonara. Pretty sure you're just aiding because you couldn't make a bowl seal to save your life. Emulsion of what? Scrambled egg pasta with the heat off? Where was the heat way too high? Okay, now they're talking with each other and no couple's trying to defend me, I think, so thank you so much. Thank you for uh, helping hundreds. This is another comment that I appreciate. Now, half I hate. The problem I have with him is, is he misuse of some memes where he gets sad and overdo it. He also made huge mistakes making bolognese, but at least he admitted it. Yeah, I made a mistake uh, with bolognese, and I did say it. And you don't like the memes. Okay, you don't like memes. Do you think I overdo it? I tried to remove it. Thank you for um, sharing your, uh, your 
for your feedback. You know, I can make my reaction videos better. He's an okay cook. That I will give him, but he's not comedian and he's not funny. Thank you. His stupid sarcasm and jokes are boring and it sounds like he's trying to be funny. Maybe I am trying. Sorry to be boring. I try so hard to be funny. And I'm sorry I'm not funny enough for you. You know what? I don't think I'm funny. You're right. I'm sad now. The last video I saw was him reacting to Uncle Roger react to Gordon Ramsay making egg fried rice and he, the damn Italian balls to talk his shit about it. I'm like, didn't you also make egg fried rice but you completely ruined it by adding way too much MSG? Vincenzo stick to cooking and not comedy. Thank you for being honest. I like this. Um, my egg fried rice wasn't great. I did put lots of MSG. I did that. Even though I knew it was too much, I did it to make you talk about it. So in a way, I did my job. I'm not a great comedian. I'm boring. But I know how to create drama because you wrote it right now. The MSG, I never used MSG in my life. And I did it to get a reaction from you, from Uncle Roger, from everyone. It was salty, yeah. And I got a reaction. So well done to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm boring. He seems to make a merry tards really mad. That's uh, not something I want people to think, you know? I like everyone. Like in his threads. So I will say it's pretty authentic. I don't want to spread AIDS. I don't want anyone to be racist or feel that, you know, a bully. The last thing I'm going to do is to be a bully. Honestly, I hate bullies. I don't like bullies. I was bullied when I was young and I don't want to see bullies. I may be a bully to the recipe. Um, I don't like when the recipe is done the wrong way. If you say to me, I'm making a matriciana, but the recipe you're sharing is not a matriciana, I have to correct you. I correct you and I try to be funny even though I'm boring. But what I'm trying to do here is to help you to learn how to make the recipe the right way. If you make a matriciana and you put your twist in there, but you still make a matriciana recipe with an extra ingredient, I always say, great, you can do that. In fact, last week I reacted to Sam the cooking guy making pasta la puttanesca and he added short ribs. He uses the puttanesca recipe with extra short ribs. That's beautiful. I like to put my twist in dishes. There is always room for creativity, but you cannot play with a traditional dish if you don't know the recipe, the traditional recipe. You want to take the traditional recipe to a modern level? Okay, learn about the traditional recipe and then you can be creative. You want to be creative, forgetting the tradition. Be creative? Great. Be creative with food. Make your own dish and give it your own name. Nobody, I'm not going to judge that because it's your own creation. Okay? But if you want to play with traditional food and then you still call it the traditional way, sorry, we need to talk about it. That's when I become boring to you. It was very interesting to read these comments and what you guys think. Definitely read it, um, I have to say, uh, I have the rudest comments I've read. Uh, even though sometimes I read rude comments on social media and on YouTube, I try to keep them if they're not as rude, if they don't swear or don't use bad words, because kids watch this my, my videos, you know, and kids can read comments. So I try to remove uh, no friendly, no family friendly comments. But I definitely don't block people. I only block people that are really, really, really rude. They do not belong to this uh, community. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you think. If I'm too boring, if I'm not a comedian to you, if you want me to stop the reaction videos, tell me now. This is the time for you to tell me. But if you like what I do, also tell me now and I keep going. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next reaction video. And I hope I'm not, I'm not too boring for you. Thank you guys. E ora si mangia. No, e ora it's time to be funny. Vincenzo's plate.